Meu nome é Valdir José Mingotti. My name is Valdir José Mingotti. I worked as an agronomist for five years. I used to see how beautiful a field of soy, corn and wheat was. So I decided that I didn't want only to assist others, but also to cultivate those plants myself. In the 1980s, when I started farming, there was already talk about no-till farming. After adopting it in the 1990s, we solved problems with soil preservation and erosion, and we managed to introduce crop rotation. Then we began to have weed problems, because with direct planting we don't plow, which we did before to help eliminate the weeds. For each kind of weed that competed with soy, we needed a different herbicide. So you can imagine having 10 weeds, and for each kind having to use a different chemical group to control that weed. It was a nightmare. It became very hard to farm. We saw transgenic soy as the solution, as the factor that would make it possible to keep farming. Otherwise, we would not be here. Where we would be? Certainly making the population of our cities even bigger because only a few would have continued with agriculture and food production in the way we did before. Thank God we have people, scientists, who devote themselves to introduce in a plant, in a crop, in a seed, a new gene that makes it possible for us to believe and produce. I support that we pay for that and keep encouraging scientists who are researching and developing new technologies. Because even though transgenic soy solved the problem for us, there may come new problems in the future. We don't need only transgenic soy. We need corn, wheat, oat, sorghum, and sunflower. Our consumers become more and more demanding on quality, so we need to be more and more professional to produce food. For us to be more professional and more competitive and be able to have at least enough profit to keep in business, it's only possible with biotechnology. Before, we would spend 14 to 15 hours a day in the fields checking and trying to control weeds. Nowadays, it's possible to plan in advance for weed and disease control. It's amazing. With transgenic soy, we just plant and never have to worry about weeds. This way, we have more time to spend with the ones we love.